Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And quickly today, I want to give you the number one way to break fear off of your life to evangelize, to get about doing good for the glory of God. The Bible tells us that Jesus went about doing good. The way to break fear, my friend, of man, to give freely from your gifts, that which God has given you, my friend, you must understand and realize what you are embarking to do is not for you. It's for your fellow man. That's how you break fear, my friend, of people and fear to, to engage and to go about doing good. Because let me tell you, my friend, you're not living if you're not giving. Giving is how in this kingdom of God, this is where we get our spiritual stamina, is giving. And that is what, my friend, is the secret to overcoming self-abasement, self-occupation, depression. Because, my friend, in the kingdom of God, it's a violation if all you do is sit up and think about you. So when you get about saying, I'm about to work my gifts, I'm about to go about doing good, friend, get ready, your life is going to change forever. So I want to give you some quick ideas. Now, keep in mind, well, or you don't know this, but I am a crafter. I love arts and crafts. I love uh, flowers. I love things that are bright and pretty. That's me. Everyone's different. So one of the ideas for crafters, because besides preaching, teaching, exhorting, this could be your spiritual your spiritual DNA. This is your primary gift, okay? You might be called as a teacher, but what are you doing in between the times you're not teaching? We work our secondary gifts. Now, for me, arts and crafts, it just comes naturally. It's what I do. And one of the ways God allowed me to utilize my gift of crafts is for years, I was a salon owner. I did hair for a living. So being in that field, it allowed me to express creativity. So for the crafters, I got to give you some ideas how you could go about doing good. Because my friend, you will not have power if you're not working your secondary gifts. Now, for the crafters, I had mentioned this on one of the other videos. One thing that I love to do during this time of the year, which is spring, spring and summer's coming, I like to go purchase premium silk flowers. I buy them by the bundles. And then I snip them up and convert them to flower ink pens. And some of you know about my ink pens because I've sent them to you. So, Crafters, that's one idea you could do. You dedicate a certain amount of money and say each month or every week or whatever, I'm going to dedicate this amount of money and I am going to, to do crafts. I'm going to pass them out freely. And don't forget, my friend, we talked about our note cards, how you want to go to your local um, dollar store and purchase. You can get, my friend, all types of beautiful cards, low cost, my friend. Isn't that cute? I usually give this to the men because it has black. And then this is my new one. <laughs> I love this one right here. She's so cute. Ain't that cute? So you take the note cards, you decorate them. Remember we said we fill them up with confetti. So you can give as a random act of kindness. Remember, we're not just preaching. We want to go about doing good. So you can give out your flower ink pens. And for those of you who might like this idea and think you could do it, just Google how to make floral ink pens, and it's all types of tutorials that will teach you that. Now, if you are a musician, if you have a gift to play an instrument, you can volunteer at a local 
a nursing home. You could go to a troubled teenage uh, youth group. There's ways, my friend, that you could utilize that gift. As a psalmist, you could do the same thing. Find you a brother or sister in Christ that plays the instrument, and you guys just go together. Find a platform where you can minister and serve in that capacity. If you are a poet, you like to write poetry, Go to the library. If this is cost effective now, if you don't have money, you go to the library, type it up real pretty, then take it to your local um, home office depot or staples. I don't know what you got in your city, but wherever they print, print them off, but make them look pretty and put that in your envelope. Instead of using note cards, you can use your poetry, but let it all be Christ centered. Amen. So there you go. If, you, if you're a poet, if you have extra cash, oh, my friend, you go, you get you some gift cards for a local grocery store. You could go to a Walmart or Target, somewhere that's national, a gas station, and just keep these gift cards. In fact, friend, inside of your little note cards, you could put the gift cards and put a word of encouragement if not, if you want to write a scripture, personally, my friend, you got to remember when we're doing good works and we're doing good, you got to be led by the Holy Spirit. Whatever he puts in your heart, just go for it. Or if you are um, a person who likes to bake, I'm just giving you ideas, friend, how your secondary gifts, you want to be about doing good with those secondary gifts. If you like to bake, get you some baking goods and dedicate them to the harvest. Say every weekend for two to three hours, I'm going to bake. And for the rest of the week, I'm going to attach to my note cards, especially to people that know and trust you. They'll take your baked goods, honey. Believe me. Yes, they will. So what you would do is take your note card, put your cookie or whatever you bake and just attach it and make it cute. Or if you are a person who is into barbering, like my background is a hairstylist, you could create some beautiful coupons um, or, you know, they could just be an invitation card and say, if you need a haircut or a shampoo style, come and visit. You could go to your lower income areas. You could go to your church fellowship. If you got you a good church fellowship, start there, my friend. If you see young people on the bus with a lot of babies, there you go. So let's get about doing good. And how did we say we break fear? We focus on Jesus Christ, that I am doing this for the glory of God. I'm not doing this for man. I'm doing this to glorify God and to encourage and inspire my fellow man. That's how you break fear, my friend, that this is not for me. I have talents. I have gifts. I am valuable to the kingdom of God, and I am going to serve my fellow man. In the meantime, my friend, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for strength and courage for all those that will hear the word that you are saying, let's go. You want us that are called by your name to go about doing good, strategizing constantly, Father, how we can be a blessing to our fellow man. So empower us, Father. Give us grace daily with no fear, but we're going to get about your business. And those that are suffering depression and all types of tests and trials, Father, help them to hear the spirit of this word that you are saying that their, their, their answer is in serving, to be about serving. Thank you, Father. Give us a fresh anointing and a fresh start with no fear. And don't forget, in, in the name of Jesus, amen. And don't forget, my friend, go to the website and get your T-shirts. If you donate $35 or more to help me with the ministry and my crusade. Many of you know I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm endeavoring to start a crusade. All of this is on my website. For those that don't know, the website is motivating you to win. I do think I have it over here somewhere on my desk. Motivatingyoutowin.com. For those of you that 
are on a cell phone. Just click that little triangle. It's, it's to the right. Just click that little arrow. It'll open up and you will see how to um, tap on my link that'll take you straight to my website, my friend. I want you to get busy, my friend. Spring and summer is here. It's time to spring ahead. It's time to let go of all that winter stuff. It's time to let it die. It's, let, it's time to let all the fall fall behind. All that's behind. It's a new season. How many remember that new, that, uh, that one song we had? It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. It's coming your way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season. It's coming to me. Remember that song? Google that song. New season. Friend, it's a new season for you to be about the Father's business. I love you, my friend. Till next time. Oh, I'm about to Google that right now. I'm about to Google that. I love you. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.